All Amazon had to do was make a bud that didn't sound like a total dud because on paper, these things already make a ton of sense. Hey everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison for Digital Trends and we are of course talking about the Amazon Echo Buds. Why do they make so much sense? Well, first of all, they're priced right. They're right around $130 uh, coming out and you know that's gonna drop over time. And on paper, they just do everything right. It's not the best battery life in the world. You get about five hours, a little less with the noise reduction on uh, per charge. They'll give you two hours after 15 minutes of charging. The charging case will boost that up to about 20 hours total. That's pretty good for 130 bucks. Of course, there's you know who built right in, always listening, so if you like the voice control thing, that's available. So they need to be comfortable and they need to sound okay because for 130 bucks, I'm not expecting audiophile sound quality. Might have some surprises for you there though. Obviously, I've been using these a while, so this is not a legit unboxing, but I do wanna show you what it's like when you receive them. A Little bit of literature here. And then here's the case. So uh, we've seen smaller and we've seen bigger. It's kind of like right in the middle there, right? Uh, and then the accessories are gonna be under here. We've got the uh, USB charging cable. No surprise there, no wireless charging on this guy. And then all of your ear tips, which is kind of part of the deal with these uh, earbuds is that uh, they've got three different size of silicone ear tips as well as three different size of these wings uh, that are supposed to help secure them in your ears a little bit better. So let's get rid of that stuff. Um, for me, I was lucky. The uh, default ear tip on these worked out perfectly for me. Let me pull these out so we can take a closer look. Uh, and as I do, there's a magnet in here, so they pop right in. Uh, just aim the ear tip towards the right direction. Uh, this case doesn't have a magnetic clasp. Uh, it uses a little bit of a spring in the hinge. Can't really open it with one hand, but I don't consider that a big deal. Uh, and then there's your hidden little micro USB charging port. So we'll set that aside, focus on the buds. Now, I know a lot of people are going to compare these to the AirPods, uh, we did, and that's because of price and functionality. But one thing I wanted to bring in are the Samsung Buds, right? Because I think they're a closer uh, comparison for the, the size of the bud themselves and also for the case, right? So the Galaxy Buds have a much smaller case. Uh, they also don't charge the buds for as long, but the buds themselves also a little bit smaller than the, uh, than the Echo Buds here, right? So there is definitely a size difference and that's what accounts for the battery life difference, right? Uh, the bigger the bud, the more space for the battery, the more power you're going to get. So uh, while they are a little bit larger than the Galaxy Buds that we just saw there, I never had a problem uh, with the size of these things. To set these up, the idea is that you just open your Alexa app, be that on your Android or iPhone, open the case and they'll go into pairing mode automatically. Uh, this works the same as the Galaxy Buds or even the AirPods do with an iPhone. Now you can do without the Alexa app to some degree. I mean, you can always pair these manually and just play music and make manual phone calls, but to really control the buds, you need to use the Alexa app. So I do recommend getting that. This is also where you're gonna be able to control uh, the active noise reduction, uh, and also the pass-through amplification. So if we press the ANR here, we're in pass-through mode. We can uh, change that. We can turn the microphones from on to off. Also, if you want to control the EQ with these, uh, you're going to want to do that from this app. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how these earbuds work. I've got them in right now. I'm listening to music. It's actually kind of distracting and hard to shoot this video right now. So I'm going to pull this out and instantly the music pauses. Now, if I put this earbud back in, it will resume. Here's another trick. If you start listening to music with just one bud in or make a phone call with just one bud in, that's fine. Uh, it'll work that way. Uh, and then if you put another bud in later, it'll pause briefly, sync the two, and then you'll be listening into stereo again. So you can have it either way. Uh, I really like that particular functionality. So in addition to that, there's some touch control functionality here. It's a little bit limited. There's only two actions. You can either double tap or you can long press. And when you do long press, it's best to really hammer that thing and then hold it for a second to execute that command. You can assign those commands to pretty much anything you want. The double tap by default is going to turn on active noise reduction or uh, turn it off and execute pass through. Uh, and you can actually sort of change that pass through sound so that it lets in just a little bit of sound or is almost like a hearing aid if you want to. Uh, the long press, I would assign that probably to 
uh, execute Google Assistant or Siri because you can't do that by voice control right now. On iPhone, you can call up Siri, no problem, but you're never gonna be able to long press and get Google Assistant, it's just not available. On the Android phone, Google Assistant, easy to pull up, no problem but it's not gonna work via voice control once again. So that's how these guys operate in you know, everyday life. You can customize them to do whatever you want. There's a whole list of functions in the Alexa app. I'll let you check that out yourself. Quick note about the active noise reduction technology. That is from Bose. It's a step below their active noise canceling or ANC. And Bose is kind of cagey about what the differences are there. Obviously the ANC is supposed to be better. But what I found is between the really good seal on these and that active noise reduction technology, they're fantastic. Like these are the ones you're gonna wanna take on a plane unless you wanna get a a Bose or a Sennheiser that has active noise canceling, that's gonna cost you a lot more though. I mean, this is far better than just a standard pair of earbuds at blocking out noise, even with that really good seal in place. What I found was it virtually eliminates the noises of uh, you know trains and buses and compressors and what have you. Uh, I can't take these out on a plane yet, but I know that I would be able to hear these far better than a standard set of earbuds. Overall, I'm totally impressed especially for the price. So the only thing left to talk about at this point, as far as I'm concerned, is sound quality. Now I gave up a little bit at the top of the video, but let me just say, I'm really impressed with how good these sound. Um, they're not audiophile grade, all right? You can get a better sounding earbud. The Jabra's might sound a little bit better. Uh, I do think that the Bose SoundSport sound a little bit better, uh, but marginally so. Uh, these guys are totally respectable, and part of that is due to the fact that they have dual balanced armatures in there. So, surprising amount of bass come from these. I actually wanted to turn it down when I first got them, but that's par for the course. Most headphones are a little bit uh, pumped up in the bass. The mid-range is very clear, and the treble is also well executed, although if I'm being super persnickety, I'd say I'd want a little bit more attack, like a slightly cleaner transient response, which is surprising considering they're balanced armatures. But overall, these are better than what most people are looking for. And that really shocked me considering the price, 130 bucks. I was expecting something kind of ho-hum, like the Echo speakers, you know? Uh, but these exceeded my expectations, and I think they're absolutely gonna meet or exceed the expectations of most folks, which means that these are absolute category winners. There's really no other earbud that wraps everything up like this. I mean, you've got, Reasonable battery life. It's right in there with the competition and better than others in some cases. You've got IPX4 sweat resistance, so they're fine if you're gonna be super active working out or just get caught in the rain all the time. The sound quality, like I said, excellent. They're comfortable, the fit is good. The noise reduction is super impressive. I mean, you're gonna have to go to full on noise canceling to get any better. All together, just a really solidly made product and at 130 bucks, these things are gonna be flying off the shelves. Folks, thanks as always for watching. Uh, were you surprised by what I had to say today? I know I was when I listened to them. Uh, leave me a comment down in the comment section. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, visit digitaltrends.com for the latest tech news and reviews.